Joining us now live from the Israel-Gaza border is Chaim Mailspin. He is a member of the IDF's Yehalom unit, which is one of their special operations forces. Chaim, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, there was news yesterday that because of the rain and the low cloud cover, that any ground operation was going to be delayed. The big question across Israel that everybody is asking is, when might this ground operation begin? What can you tell us? Yes, uh, I know we're all ready. We're trained. We are prepared. We don't want to be here. You know, we have families. I have three little kids. Uh, made my immigration from America, you know, 25 years ago here, Jewish family. But we have to defend our kids. We have to secure our borders. And yes, yes, we are doing our part. Our unit specializes in, in rescue and all kinds of special um, missions that the regular army isn't prepared for. Um, but yes, I did hear word that it is delayed. The major entrance is delayed to dismantle Hamas, is delayed for a few more days. It's unclear exactly. I believe it's Shabbat now, coming up Saturday, that we actually will have the major... Of course, you, you know there are missions going in uh, that we don't talk about, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, they're the big, big one is supposed to be in a few days, not tonight. Um, Here's the thing is we have to recognize we got to be good shepherds. There's a shepherd over us, right? And America understands that. I think that people that haven't had enemies at their door for a long time fell asleep. They forgot what it is to have enemies. Uh, and so when you have a real enemy, you need to address that. You need to stand up and be a good shepherd yourself. And so that's what we're doing. Hi, uh, this is Sandra Smith uh, in New York. Thank you very much for joining us. Obviously, d very difficult uh, conditions for you to come to us live. We appreciate that. Uh, as we continue to realize that this ground invasion into Gaza is imminent, and you've got these major evacuation orders out of northern Gaza into southern Gaza, 1.1 million people. This is a huge operation. Um, the tunnel system. Can you talk to our viewers about Hamas's uh, um, extensive tunnel system under Gaza and what that will mean once this ground invasion eventually occurs? Oh, there is definitely a lot of information that, I, again, I am uh, a sergeant major in the combat engineer elite force. Uh, I'm not an official spokesperson. I can say I do speak English. Jewish man, mm -hmm. uh, I, and here's the thing I can say, having been in many tunnels, having done this for many suke time, cast lead, uh, in many, many wars and missions, including in Lebanon in 2006, I can say that our, our unit knows that the, the risks are real. I mean, Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible would have a very hard time to, to get the tunnel threat. I'm telling you what, it's intricate, it's a labyrinth, it's all booby-trapped. There are even uh, w w there's some uh, concern that Russian supplied um, mega bombs may be uh, awaiting under the ground even before we get to the tunnel. So uh, there's a lot of speculation. I can't give exact information. I can say that we're doing our absolute best training with the top precision. Uh, I know that we looked really good. We looked really good recently. Now it's time to, to show these criminals, these um, grotesque terrorists that that terror will not that is not going to continue our families will be safe and security will be restored yeah you know i i know heim that uh in the past couple of days the israeli air force or the idf forces and helicopters have been flying commanders over the uh potential battlefield so that they can get an idea of the lay of the land still it seems they'll be running into a hornet's nest no matter how you cut it but i i wanted to ask you about this and and, and this is the response uh, today, meeting with the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, uh, al-Sisi of Egypt said that Israel has gone beyond the realm of self-defense and is now into the realm of collective punishment of the Palestinian people. But what do you say as a soldier who's about to go into Gaza to that criticism? Well, I would say to all people who love freedom, to all patriots out there, when we didn't want a war, we don't want to have to any any kind of we wanted to, we, it was a peace festival for crying out loud. It was a peace festival to see people, uh, you know, there was kidnapped 199 of them was what the number says now. It's probably more and raped and murdered. We aren't. It's not about collective punishment. It's about secure, uh, dismantling uh, a 
that's actually bad. Hamas is actually bad for their own people. And and rescuing the Palestinians from from that. We have a thing in Israel called purity of arms. I don't know if America has that. I think they do. Purity of arms is simply a training that we do to minimize casualties. We do everything possible, as you probably know, just uh, uh, distributing pamphlets, uh, SMSs in Arabic, calls to people saying, please get away from these terrorists and let us do our job. And yes, Egypt will open up the, the Rafah, uh, uh, border, and they will let it come through. And we're excited about that. We will get out of harm's way. We don't want any collateral damage. We don't want any civilian injuries. It's not our way because we are defenders, Israeli defense force, just here to defend the, the homeland. And I'll tell you what, people here don't want to be here, but we have to. Ezekiel 34 talks about good shepherds, okay, mm -hmm. who go and rescue the sheep. And all patriots out there know you can't let your home be overrun. You have to, you have to respond and finish this dismantling Hamas. Haim, um, just a, remarkable that you are coming to us from where you are, and um, we appreciate everything that you brought to our viewers just now. Thank you, and we will certainly be checking in, back in with you. Haim, thank Pray you. Pray for us. Keep us in your prayers. Wow.